Hello, this is Pinoy Ipsum Channel. So, this is lecture 003. Yung topic natin, System Loading and Behavior. In this lesson, the students will be able to compute for the load or loads that a certain component will carry and know how to distribute the load from slab to beams. So, we have two system na kailangan i-determine whether the slab is two-way action or one-way action. So, number one, one-way system. A slab or deck that is supported such that it delivers its load to the supporting members by one-way action is often referred to as the one-way slab. According to ECI code, if the span ratio is L over S greater than 2, the slab will behave as one-way slab. So, ito yung itsura niya. Then, yung the W times S over 2 expressed in kilonewton per meter. Where L is the longer side, then S is the smaller side. Then, W is equal to the total load at slab expressed in kilopascal. Then, yung WE is equal to the equivalent uniform load expressed in kilonewton per meter. Number two, the two-way system. If, if the span ratio is L over S, less than or equal to 2, the slab is referred to as the two-way slab. So, ito yung itsura niya. May trapezoidal at saka triangular load. So, where L is the longer side, then S is the smaller side. For trapezoidal load, we have WS over 2 expressed in kilonewton per meter yung intensity ng trapezoidal load. So, for the conversion to uniform load, so we have the formula WE is equal to WS over 6 times 3 minus close and open parenthesis S over L raised to 2. So, where W is equal to the total load at slab expressed in kilopascal. Then WE is the equivalent uniform load for trapezoidal load expressed in kilonewton per meter. For triangular load, so we have the intensity, ganun pa rin, WS over 2 expressed in kilonewton per meter. Now, for the conversion into uniform load, so WE is equal to WS over 3. So, where W is the total load at slab expressed in kilopascal. Then, WE is the equivalent uniform load for triangular load expressed in kilonewton per meter. Sample number 1 tayo. The steel framework is used to support the reinforced stone concrete slab that is used for an office. The slab is 200 mm thick. Then sketch the loading that acts members BE and FED. So given minimum design load tayo. So live load. So, makikita nyo sa screen, may tatlo tayong pagpipilian dyan. So, we have call centers and business processing offices, lobbies and ground floor corridors, and other offices. So, since sa problem, wala namang nabanggit or na-specified na office. So, other offices lang tayo. So, we have 2.4 kilopascal. Now for the dead load, so we have reinforced 
stone concrete. So the density is equal to 23.6 kN per cubic meter. Now the required sketch of loadings that acts along B, beam BE and FED. So solution. So let us check the system of slab. So L over S is equal to 4 over 3 is equal to 1.33. So less than 2. Therefore, our slab is 2-way slab. Now for, for the total load at slab. So we have dead load plus live load or is equal to 7.12 kilopascal now sa beam BE so we have trapezoidal load so ang intensity nya is equal to WS over 2 or is equal to 7.12 times 3 over 2 so since na uh, both sides so times 2 tayo So, W is equal to 21.36 kN per meter. So, this is the intensity. Now, kailangan natin isolve yung reaction para, para i-transfer doon sa beam FED. So, we have the distance. So, yung 1.5 S over 2 yan. So, we have the resultant area ng trapezoid so 1 half plus 1 plus 4 times 21.36 so equals to 53.4 kilonewtons so we have the reaction so symmetrical naman yan so 26.7 kilonewtons so sa beam if ED so we have triangular loadings. So the intensity niya is equal to WS over 2 is equal to 7.12 times 3 over 2 or equal to 10.68 kN per meter. So we have the intensity. Then for point E. So, may beam tayo dyan. So, beam BE. So, kailangan natin i-transfer yung reaction sa point E. So, we have 26.7 kN. Okay. For example number 2. The figure shown is a portion of a floor plan of two-story library building so nandyan sa reading room is made from a 100mm thick stone reinforced concrete slab with ceramic tiles naka 20mm thickness on 25mm mortar bed floor finishes all beam members are also made from stone reinforced concrete and the beam AB has a width of 300mm and the web of the beam extends 500 mm below the slab. Determine the equivalent uniform load superimposed on beam AB and use in ECP 2015. So given, so again, minimum design loads tayo. So live load, so is 2.9 kilopascal. Now for the library building, so from table 205-1, so dead loads, we have stone reinforced concrete slab and beams, so the density is equal to 23.6 kN per cubic meter, now from table 204-1, for ceramic tiles, so we have 1.10 kPa, so, from table 204-2. 2. 
now for the beam dimension so we have 300 mm by 500 mm now for the required the equivalent uniform load superimposed on beam AB so solution so we need to check the system of slab so we have L over S is equal to 8 over 7 or 1.4 uh, 1.14 so less than 2 so therefore our slab is 2 way slab so ganito ang tsura nya so for the total load at slab is equal to weight of slab plus weight of ceramic tiles plus live load so we have 23.6 times 0.10 plus the 1.10 plus 2.9 total load at slab is equal to 6.36 kilopascal now for the beam weight we have 0.3 times 0.5 times the density 23.6 so our beam weight is equal to 3.54 kN per meter Now, for the equivalent uniform load superimposed on beam AB. So, we have WE is equal to triangular load plus the beam weight or is equal to WS over 3 plus beam weight. So, WE is equal to 6.36 times 7 over 3. So, since both sides yung ating triangular load, so times 2 plus beam weight na 3.54 so WE is equal to 33.22 kN per meter so ito yung final answer then ito yung sketch